Neurotransmitters and drugs. There are several neurotransmitters important to nervous system functioning, such as serotonin, acetylcholine, norepinephrine, dopamine, GABA, and endorphins. Drugs contain chemicals that increase or decrease neurotransmitter production, mimic the neurotransmitter, or block receptor or reuptake channels. Acetylcholine is used by the parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and digest part of the autonomic nervous system, to control body functions like digestion, salivation, and excretion. Acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter essential for processing memory and learning and is decreased in patients with Alzheimer's disease, resulting in both loss of concentration and function. Norepinephrine is used by the sympathetic nervous system to control body functions like heart rate, blood pressure, and pupil size. As a neurotransmitter in the central nervous system, norepinephrine increases alertness and arousal and speeds reaction time. Norepinephrine has been shown to play a role in person's mood and ability to concentrate. Low levels of norepinephrine may lead to conditions such as attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or ADHD. Stimulants are the most widely used ADHD medications. Do between 70 to 80% of children with ADHD have fewer symptoms when taking these. Serotonin is an inhibitory neurotransmitter that is involved in emotion and mood, balancing excessive excitatory neurotransmitter effects in the brain. Low levels are associated with depression. Serotonin is reabsorbed too quickly by the presynaptic neuron. Drugs like Prozac or Zoloft prevent the reuptake of serotonin or stimulate serotonin receptors. These are called SSRIs, Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitors. Let's look at how this happens. In a non-depressed individual, we have serotonin and it's been released into the synapse and there's plenty of it to cause inhibition of the postsynaptic neuron. In a depressed individual, there are more receptors for serotonin reuptake. So it kind of vacuums up the serotonin or reuptakes it into the presynaptic neuron before it has a chance to stay in the synapse and do its job. So an SSRI blocks the reuptake channels, allowing the serotonin to stay in the synapse long enough to do its job. GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. Its effect is to reduce neural activity by allowing chlorine ions to enter the postsynaptic neuron, which cause hyperpolarization. This makes the neuron less excitable. Dopamine is both an excitatory and inhibitory neurotransmitter. Dopamine is one of the feel-good chemicals in our brain. It is naturally released when eating, exercising, or having sex. Drugs such as cocaine, heroin, and alcohol can temporarily increase it. Alcohol increases GABA and it increases dopamine. Alcohol binds to the GABA receptor and enables the ion channel to stay open longer and thus let more chlorine ions into the cell. The neuron would be hyperpolarized, thus explaining the sedative effect of alcohol. So this explains slow reaction time or no reaction when under the influence of alcohol. Alcohol help helps increase the release of dopamine by restricting the activity of the enzyme that breaks down dopamine, which explains alcohol creating a good mood, which contributes to the addiction of alcohol. Endorphins provide pain relief. Endorphins are naturally released during exercise, sex, and eating. They most often produce analgesia by binding to opioid receptors at presynaptic nerve terminals causing inhibition of the release of a protein involved in the transmission of pain. Opioid medications like Vicodin, morphine, or fentanyl are commonly prescribed after surgery. These medications mimic natural endorphins, binding to the same opioid receptors as endorphins. What causes addictions? A drug that causes increased production of dopamine creates feelings of reward. Too much dopamine in the synapse causes the neurons to reduce receptor numbers. This means that without the drug, the person does not feel as happy as with the drug. Also, the person needs more drugs to produce the same effect each time as they develop tolerance. Let's look at how this works. So we have neurotransmitter 
is reabsorbed at a normal synapse. Here's the receptors, here's the presynaptic neuron, neurotransmitters being reabsorbed. Here's the drug molecule. The drug molecules prevent reabsorption and cause overstimulation of the postsynaptic neuron. Then the number of receptors in that postsynaptic neuron decrease. The synapse is less sensitive when the drug is removed. What happened to you? I sold all my body parts to feed my gambling addiction. Maybe you should quit while you're ahead. Was that a pun? Yeah, I have a very serious problem. So do I. Okay, for more information on how drugs interact in the brain, check out the Mouse Party app from learngenetics.utah.edu.